Hello, it's your Wisconsin wine guy, and I'm back. You know, I just love doing these wine reviews. You kind of love a job that lets you drink wine, right? Mm. <laughs> so, you know, what wine review would be complete without reviewing wines that people are most familiar with? I mean, these are wines that are attracting attention, and these are wines that, that people are talking about, you know, on a daily basis. You know, so let's review them all. I mean, there's lots of wine out there, and we should review them all because there is a wine out there that is going to be attracted to every palate, all right? I like to always say there's a palate for every wine and a wine for every palate. Now, to get to the show. So on today's show, again, we give you the grading system. Thumbs up. I recommend it. Three quarters halfway. You know, it's not for me, but give it a try. Thumbs down. Get that wine out of here. On today's show, we're going to be doing, drum roll please, Apothic. Who doesn't know these wines? The Apothic wine, you know? So we have Apothic Red, 2016, and Apothic Crush, 2016. Both wines are California. Both are blends. You know what I mean? The Apothic wines have taken the, the wine world of grocery stores and liquor stores by storm. People just love these wines. They just keep coming out, you know? But the wines are based on blends, you know? And I must admit, when it first came out, I wasn't a fan. So we're going to find out, you know, what's happening now. There's a few years later, you know, and um, let's start first with the Apothic Red. Most of us are very familiar with the Apothic Red. Now let's give you the blend. The blend of the Apothic Red is Zinfandel, Syrah, Cabernet, and Merlot. Okay, so a very simple blend. 2016, these are grapes that most of us are more familiar with. But let's see how well uh, they play together in the Apothic Red. Now, Apothic Red was the first one that I tried many, many years ago, and I moved on from it. So let's give it a try. Now, we're talking about a nice, beautiful purple color in this wine. You know, so it has, it has a beautiful look to it. Beautiful look to it, you know. Down for the nose. Oh, deep berry fruit going on here, boy. I mean, you're talking about Syrah, Zinfandel, Merlot, deep berry fruit. Now, for the taste. There's my rinse. And now we're going to do the taste. Mm. All right. I'm just going to say, hmm. And I'll tell you what my opinion is when we try the Crush. The Crush, again, is a 2016. Let's give it a try. And then we'll talk about them both. I will say this. I can still taste that wine. That's a good sign. Taste it in a good way. Okay? The Apothic Crush. So the Apothic Crush is a blend. You know, it's kind of hard to find, you know, the blend or the grapes inside the Apothic Crush, you know. So I, I found some information. I gave you the blend, short of calling the winery. But it uh, looks like the blend is Petit Syrah and Pinot Noir. Here we go. Mmm, again, deep berry fruit. That's the Petit Syrah kicking in. Deep berry fruit. <laughs> Smelling both these wines totally makes me think about, you know, game meats, robust stews. I mean, for sure. I mean, it definitely hits me that way. Now for the taste. Okay, the rinse. <laughs> All right. Now for the taste. Give myself a little bit more of each. So we do a final taste. Now again, the Apothic Red was the one that said that first hit the market and I tried it, I wasn't a fan. And now I'm gonna give you my opinion right now. What do I think of the Apothic Red? I will tell you this. Got my Hades Corkers, that tells you what. I've opened it the day before. Open bottle. Drink some of the wine, let it rest for a day. This is pretty good wine. You know, uh, very ripe, 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 ripe is what I'm going to say for both of these wines. But, I mean, very, very well, very good after the second day. You know, the first day it was kind of tight, but the second day, mellowed out, smooth, ripe fruit, you know, subtle complexities. 
has a little little sweetness to it, you know, but it's not overpowering sweet, so that's okay. You know, I think, again, it'd be great, you know, for eating. So I'm going to give this like a three quarters for myself. It's not a wine that I would probably just drink, 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 drink. You know, I'll reach into my wine cellar and grab that wine. But if I got some guests coming over, we're just going to drink some wine, we're just going to chillax. It'd be a good wine, you know, to have, you know. Just don't even tell them what it is. Just let them drink and then just talk about it and boom, it's a pot of red. So again, three quarters on this one. I recommend it. And I'm not going to say it's not for me with that rating, but I'm going to say, you know, I would drink that. All right, that's the pot of red, three quarters. Now for the crush, Pinot Noir and Petit Syrah. It's amazing the similarities on the nose. Mm. Again, same thing. Haley's Corker in the house. Same thing. Day after, it mellows out. A little bit more oxygen, a little more breathing to it. You know, I'm going to say same thing. Three quarters. Three quarters on this. You know, I mean, I'm not going to highly recommend it, but I recommend you give it a try. It's a, it's a good all-around crowd pleaser. You know, I am pleased with both these wines. I would drink these wines. I would enjoy these wines. You know, and, and I think that you will too. You know, uh, try it with that pizza, you know, when, uh, actually, what is it, uh, Christmas Eve, Thanksgiving Eve, you know, when you go and buy those pizzas, you know, bust your apothic wines, you know, and you're good, you're squared, you're squared, you're good to go. So I'm going to give both of these wines three quarters, you know, that uh, I would definitely would drink these wines and, and enjoy them, you know, with food and probably enjoy them on, on, the, on, the, on their own. All right, so the Wisconsin Wine Guy is always saying, let your palate be the guy who's selecting your wines. And I'll see you next time when we review wines that you see every day in your stores. Ching, ching. Bye.